Hello, Sydney. Ah! That's all the energy I have for this fucking review. I'm going to bed. Reese, take it away. Oh, man. Uh, what are we on? Five now? Scream five. This is just Scream. I think Evo and I both agree that the self-awareness in Hollywood about sequels and prequels and this self-awareness is becoming far too much. This entire movie was the first movie. When short of what Matrix did of showing you the actual first movie, the writing here was elementary. Yeah, the act Thing was unconvincing as all hell. There was a couple of characters here that I didn't mind. They didn't matter ultimately to the story or anything that mattered in this movie. It was predictable who the killer was. The motives here are just, they're, they're boring. They're reaching so hard. And again, it goes back to that self-awareness in these movies where they're talking about why their idea for this movie works within the movie. And they're like, yeah, it works because we're doing it this way. And it's so lazy and so boring that they're trying to protect their asses in the middle of the movie before they've even finished the movie. They're trying to cover their tracks. The fourth Scream went back to the original, tried to play parts there, but they didn't actually rip things from the original that, that were so part of it, like the actual fucking house. Scream 2 and 3 probably could be agreed by the fans that those are the worst movies. I, I'm pretty sure I like those more than this one. Scream has always been a self-aware talking about horror movies and the tropes and how to stay safe. It goes so far beyond that when you're trying to protect yourself, talking about bringing up the old characters, we're doing it better because we're doing it this way. It doesn't work, man. Come up with original material. Leave Ghostface behind. Come up with a new killer called like Scary Man. And he kills people with a fucking wrench. Scooter Boy. He runs around scootering people's ankles. Ah, oh, it's just anything sounds more fun. This movie just wasn't fun. It wasn't enjoyable. The deaths weren't even that good. There was one like best death. It was just like shot and framed the best. I don't know. This movie was just boring, man. It, was, it just wasn't, it wasn't enjoyable. Look at this. Look at this. You know what? I'm gonna give this movie a two out of 10. I farted when I started thinking about the rating of this movie. It's like, it's shitty, it's smelly, and it's poopy, and it, far it smells like farts. Like, all these characters, they're farting as they're walking through the movie. The writers were farting. Two directors to film this movie, and they were farting the whole time. This movie did have one good line in it that is 100% true. Hollywood is making shit these days. They don't make anything anymore. Hollywood's fucking dead. What'd you think, Evo? We're sorry, Eva passed out. I, I really like Scream, and that's why I kind of ranted a lot about it. it. Barely though, it's scratching the surface. Fuck this movie, man. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It's it's so hard to watch film anymore, man. It's just hard. We love you. Goodbye. Oh. Uh, are you okay? Um, are you okay? I'm trying to be ghost face. Holy shit. Yeah. Hello, Sydney!